Officials with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration estimate six school-aged children die in school bus crashes every year. Now they are urging every state to equip buses with seat belts. But officials told WYMT's Callie Rainey seat belts might not save lives in every scenario. Some folks across the United States are pushing for the requirement of seat belts on school buses. They're saying that it's uh, safer for school buses to have seat belts. You know, we've uh, in the past, uh, you know, there's been debate, you know, on the national level as well as state on if that's the best deal. Jerry Combs is the transportation director for Leslie County Schools. He says one argument is that since cars have seat belts, buses should too. In a car, seat belts are great because cars aren't equipped the way school buses are. If you knew what kind of accident the bus was going to be in, that's an easy question to answer. But to sit here and say in every incident would seat belt be the safest? And I can't say. Combs says if a bus is involved in a head-on collision, a seat belt would be safe. Your district wants to be, you know, uh, provide the safest environment, you know, for the kids. Uh, once again, the concern is what if, you know, happens to be the bus, you know, turned over and uh, or, you know, possible water, you know, or a fire. Combs says within two minutes, a bus can be fully engulfed in flames. Students in Leslie County Schools do a minimum of four bus evacuations every year, and they do one before every extracurricular trip. Now, Combs says students are able to get out of these buses in less than two minutes, thanks to the help of these emergency exits. Parents are concerned fumbling to unbuckle a seatbelt could prevent small children from making a safe exit. If there was an automatically disengage button, she wouldn't have that issue of trying to fumble for the seatbelt herself. Adding seatbelts could cost several thousands of dollars per bus, but Combs says you can't put a dollar figure on the safety of kids. In Leslie County, Callie Rainey, WYMT Mountain News. Combs says it costs them around $10,000 to add seatbelts to their preschool bus.